Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Capricorn. This is for the month of February, so we're just going to get started. What do we have for Capricorn? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of February. What do we have for Capricorn for February? Three of Wands, taking a journey of some sort. Um, you may be experiencing some challenges this month, but for the mountains, there could be some challenges. This is taking a hike. <laughs> Somebody's taking a hike, um, but it looks like it's a good, healthy hike, whatever it is. Um, going someplace. Somebody's going somewhere. And it's a distance. It's going uh, at a long distance by the looks of things. Climbing a mountain of some sort. Um, this has reached a peak of some sort. Reaching some sort of peak. Something has reached the peak. There's beauty in this. There is some sort of beauty here. Reaching, getting, you've, you've worked really hard to get to this place. Now you're going to get to see the beauty. You're going to get to see the beauty of something. It's like your hard work is paying off. You've been waiting for this moment. You worked hard to get here. Now you're here. Now you're here, Capricorn. You're where you, you this is where you were going, right? You you were going and you were on that trip, you know, you were you were going to get there. You worked hard to get there. Now you're here. Now you're here. You're where where you wanted to be, right? You've reached the the top. You've reached the top, okay, of the destination, wherever it is that you were going, you know, you, you, you're, you're meeting your goal, whatever that is. Um, I, what I want to say, I, I want to say congratulations. What do we have for Capricorn? A lot of determination here. Your determination is paying off. What do we have for Capricorn? Look at that. The most difficult part of a situation is over. If only it would focus in. Rabbit. Huh. Too much concern with sexual matters. Well, that's a problem. Uh, the most difficult part of a situation is over. The storm is over. Peace is coming. Peace is coming to you. You know, it's done raining. You've, you've reached your destination. There, there may still be some work ahead, but your strength shows, put it that way, your endurance. Be careful with your sexual issues, you know. Um, there's a lot of concern with sexual matters this month. You know, maybe you just want to keep on a trucking. I don't know. Obviously, sex is going to be on the mind. So... It is what it is. What do we have for Capricorn? What do we have for Capricorn? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. You know, you could meet somebody somewhere. It just came to me because I saw this too much concern with sexual matters and I was looking at this card. These two people may be running into somebody, may be running into somebody that they don't even know. Get prepared, okay, because you may meet somebody unexpectedly along your path. This could be somebody that, you know, you have a lot in common with.
it's like you're trucking along. I don't keep interrupting. You're doing, you're focusing on your own accomplishment. You're focusing on your own goal, you know, and there's somebody, you know, up there, you know, there's somebody right there that is, that is in the same vicinity you know they've done the same thing you have done they're in the same mindset anyway i feel like you're going to run into somebody unexpectedly somewhere in your travels free yourself it's time to take back control of your life and i think that's probably what you're doing this month this is breaking free from some sort of cage, right? It's exploring. It's having fun. It's liberation. It's really taking control. You're free. You're free to live. You're free to explore. This is, it's a, it feels like it's, it's glorious. I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. What do we have for Capricorn for February? Aha. Four of Wands, commitment, home, celebrating. Two of Cups reversed and the Page of Cups. So separation. This is disharmony in a partnership. Separating for a, from a partnership. Maybe you're separate. Maybe you're celebrating because this is a celebration. Maybe you're celebrating a separation. Maybe you have a new admirer. Maybe you have a new love. Maybe you love yourself. But this is an offer of love, a secret admirer, a new admirer, a crush, somebody crushing on you. This could be um, flirting with somebody new. Um, this is a message of love that is coming your way. And it's interesting how I separated these. I never know what I'm going to do. So there's there's a separation from a commitment here. This is a separation. Maybe there's, a, I don't know if there's a change in the home front or what. Um, but because this is about home, it's about a foundation. There could be a separation that leads to a new opportunity. Now the Page of Cups is like... Um, it's a it's a welcome message of love. It's good news arriving, unexpected news. This could also be like Cupid bringing two people together, bringing opportunities for love. So I feel like you have an opportunity of love that is coming for you. You may have, you know, separated from somebody, you know, you may have separated from a relationship or a partnership or some sort of commitment and you, and, you know, you're looking in a new direction, you're going in a new direction and, you know, you just never know when it's going to happen. I, I feel as though, uh, I feel like you're going to run into somebody. I feel like you're going to run into somebody along your path and it, it, and it could lead to some sort of new commitment of some sort. Oh, this is celebrating of some sort, a celebration, um, a get together, a commitment, but this is separating from something. There could be some sort of disharmony in a commitment, but the, and there could be, so for some of you, if you're in a commitment, you're married, maybe you're married, you're, there's some disharmony, there's some arguing, there's something going on, it, there could be some challenges. But I feel like you can overcome the challenges. This could be overcoming challenges. It could be. Somebody's obviously been in a difficult situation. It is over. It's time to celebrate. Either what, Whoever you are, for a Capricorn that is watching this, it is time to celebrate your accomplishments. Put it that way. There has been disharmony in a partnership. It's over. It's over. This is a welcome message of love. It could, for some of you, there could be news of a baby. If that's, you know, you're in childbearing vicinity, whatever, and you want a child or whatever, for some of you. But this could also be an unexpected offer of love. This is welcome news. Some sort of good news is coming. Ah, new beginning, fresh start. This is starting from scratch, starting over. This is exciting. 
This is this is definitely something new. You have a new beginning here. This is an exciting new opportunity. You need to step forward in faith. This is definitely starting from scratch. Leaving the past. This is the the fool is about leaving the past behind. Not taking very much with you, totally starting from scratch. Leaving behind a partnership or a union that wasn't compatible, just leaving it. Leaving it behind. Starting a new journey, stepping into unknown territory. This is very exciting. This is, this is uh, taking a risk, acting on impulse. Having no fear. So yeah, you're going to be stepping into uncharted territory this month. This is very exciting because this is the new beginning. This is the beginning of some a new chapter. And this is freedom as well. You're free. You're free to do whatever you want. This partnership, this union, whatever it was, is behind you now. You're free. Oh boy, the Empress. The Empress is the birth of a new life. Somebody's, some of you, obviously not everybody. Somebody, this is a, this is a mother and this is a child. So we could have a mother and a child here, you know, that are, that maybe the mother and the child are breaking free. But there could also be a pregnancy for some of you. There could depth, and then we got these sexual matters here. Somebody could be getting news of or hearing news of a pregnancy. But we could also have a mother and a child that are breaking free, and or however that resonates. This could also be a, somebody coming in all of a sudden, coming into this person's life. This is definitely the birth of a new life. This is creating a new life. We have a creator here that does everything with love. Somebody that is very abundant, very wealthy, very loving, very motherly. Um, and it's time. It's time for this fresh start. It's time to receive. So this this woman or feminine energy is about to receive some sort of blessing. And this is waiting. Seriously, three of wands is about waiting. Get prepared for an arrival. Okay? Get prepared for some sort of arrival, Capricorn. Okay? If you are the masculine watching this, you are maybe running into a very beautiful feminine. This feminine does everything but love. Very nurturing, very caring. Um, can grow anything. Is This, this person uh, is, is motherly. Uh, very, very motherly. Very um, creative. Creates life. Does everything with love. Wealthy as well, or abundant. So we have a we have a very beautiful feminine here. Who is giving birth to a new life? I mean, what else can I say? I mean, such a beautiful energy. I mean, this is the goddess of love. It's a very, the Empress is very sensual and sexual and, you know, everybody is drawn to the Empress because she just radiates, radiating. So there's a radiating energy here. Um, get prepared to create a new life because a new life is about to begin. That's exactly what this is. This is absolutely beautiful. For you, there will be love. There will be love. There will be. There will be love. Somebody's going to be expressing feelings or they're going to be flirting. They're going to be taking a chance. You're being called to take a chance. Some of you, it could just be a pregnancy. There's news of a pregnancy. It's risky, you know, to have a child, but, you know, it's a beautiful experience. Um, two of Pentacles. 
Now this is juggling. It's juggling, uh, needing to balance, needing to be flexible, needing to adapt. You're going to need to adapt. There's a change here. This is kind of scary. Have no fear. Have no fear. I feel like you're going to be getting an opportunity which may make you feel unsure. You may be feeling unsure whether you want to take it, what you want to do. Um, you're going to need to be flexible, right? You are going to need to be flexible. What is happening is you are creating a new life for yourself and change is never easy. You may have to let something go. Now, the two of, two of pentacles to me is about an alignment. It is. So I think that you are being, uh, there's some sort of alignment happening that is giving you an opportunity to create this beautiful new life. My advice is to just go with it. Don't have any fear. I feel like things are a little chaotic. They may feel like, you know, you got a lot going on. You probably are feeling overwhelmed right now, but I think that you can handle it. I think that you can handle it. You you may have two options. You may you may. Some of you may have two options. You have to make a choice between two options. Um get prepared for an arrival that uh, or news, get prepared for arrival or news that is very that makes you happy, okay? This really, this is good news. You're going to be receiving some news or an arrival or an offer or an invite from somebody or a message from somebody that probably makes you glow, okay? Because the Empress is glowing, okay? Um, you may feel like you're on cloud nine, right? Or whatever. Um, you're going to have to choose something. You're going to have to choose to probably face your fears, whatever fears you have, have no fear. You may have to let something go. Maybe it's this partnership over here, this union. Um, maybe it's just fear. Maybe it is just fear. You do got to let go of fear because the fool does not have any fear. Step forward in faith. Have no fear. Love is here. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was my poet and I didn't even know it. Maybe this person is a poet. I don't know. Anyhow, um, this is definitely an opportunity for unconditional love. Okay, because the Empress is all about unconditional love. She does everything with love. And it, anyhow, so what else do we have for Capricorn? Ooh, King of Wands. So we could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra or an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, could be dealing with anybody. But we have somebody that is definitely going to take action. This person sees what they want and they are going to go after it. This person knows what they want. They make a decision. This is somebody that is in a position of leadership or does take the lead. Okay, has a lot of confidence, is very noble, um, works hard, uh, passionate. So there's a lot of passion here. This is So there is passion. Somebody could definitely, definitely, definitely get pregnant, put it that way. So um, we definitely have passion. We do have passion. And then that sex card came up as well. And the Empress is very sexual energy. So it is going to be, you know what it feels like? The pheromones are going to be a flying. You know, it's like, it's just the, 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 the tension. The, the sexual pheromones or the sexual tension or the sexual feeling, you know, that sexual feeling is going to be on high. Okay, it's going to be on high and I feel like you're going to be feeling unbalanced. You may even feel like, uh, I don't know, I was going to say falling, you know, like you, you can't handle this. This is too much for you. You know, you may be feeling overwhelmed. Um, so yeah, you may be feeling overwhelmed this month by that, that sexual feeling. Um, jeez, I'm crow. There is definitely somebody that is going to be um, taking action. Yeah, they're taking, they, we have an empress and we have a feminine and a masculine here that are going to be creating a new life together. And it is beautiful. So um, this is the beginning of a new foundation after some sort of disconnection or disharmony. This could also be starting from scratch 
with somebody, you know, that you've been having challenges with. I mean, I got to be honest with you. It could be. Um, there is a need to be flexible. Open your heart. Don't let fear hold you back. This is a ex very exciting time. It is very exciting. It feels as though you're starting with a clean slate and <laughs> one more card. You have a major new beginning here. Letting go of the past. Six of Cups reverse. That is letting go of the past. Right? Focusing on the future. This is freedom. It's freedom from obligation, right? It's freedom from that. See where it is? You were going back and forth. You were going back and forth with a partnership, you know, you know, needing, to, this is leaving that partnership in the past. This is the past going back and forth, juggling, not sure what you wanted to do. Now you have a new opportunity. There's another, there's another person here. There is. Some of you, if you're, you know, if you're in a happily ever after relationship, then this reading obviously isn't for you. This is a new love connection or uh, somebody could even be getting a proposal, put it that way with the page of cups or an invite or an offer that, you know, starts something. This is a start. This is a start. This is, this is a, this is definitely a new beginning. You've been waiting for this. This is free. You are free. It is. You're free. You are free. You're free from some sort of partnership or union or struggle. The struggle is over. You've reached your destination. Congratulations. Congratulations. Whatever that means, you're going to be hearing congratulations. You probably mean me. Some of you may be hearing, I love you. Good luck. <laughs> 